I truly believe that scientific innovation is one of the best ways of creating good in the world. Young entrepreneurs have the imagination and the vision and the risk capacity to think big. But just as importantly is identifying entrepreneurs who can execute on that vision. Our purpose was really to inspire and train and provide opportunity for young entrepreneurs who are interested in building businesses around breakthrough technologies, breakthrough science. Science has the potential to really change how the world works. The Blavatnik Fellowship in Life Science Entrepreneurship was started in 2013, primarily as a partnership between Harvard Business School and the Office of Technology Development at Harvard University. When we got Lent Blavatnik together with the first group of fellows, he really challenged them to think big. BrainSpec is software for brain imaging. We take the output of an MRI and tell doctors about patients' brain chemistry. Instead of just getting pictures of the brain, we're also going to get measures of chemistry within the brain. And that allows us to then benefit the patients by being able to get diagnosis more accurately. Right now we have four employees and we're working out of downtown Boston. The Bovodnik Fellowship allows her to really grow this company. There's a great deal of interest, both from investors as well as Brigham, MGH, Children's Hospital. It's most motivating for me to really have the technology have the biggest patient impact. Given where Harvard Business School sits, which is at the center of the largest and most diverse collection of experts in the life sciences broadly writ, universities, medical schools, teaching hospitals, the biotechnology industry, the pharmaceutical industry, this is not only an opportunity for us, I think it's a responsibility. There's more biomedical innovation happening here than anywhere on the planet. How can you answer and help a woman track and solve so many different complex issues? What we're trying to do is to push the envelope where women can make decisions about their reproductive health through information. My company is Next Gen Jane. Basically, the form factor of a tampon gives you access, a unique singular access to a woman's reproductive system like nothing else short of a biopsy. In our lab here in Oakland, it's part wet bench and part dry lab work. If we're looking at ovarian cells, we may be able to pick up signals for detection of ovarian cancer. One of our biggest passions is to empower women to take care of themselves. And it shouldn't be a matter of where you live or how much money you make that determines whether you're able to do that. The Lobotnik Fellowship allows the opportunity for the fellows to actually learn through experiential processes. We give them support by uh, connecting them to advisors, uh, consultants, and other educational means specific to creating new companies. My Blavatnik Fellowship allowed me to help co-found a company called Voxelate. Voxelate is a novel 3D printing technology. It allows you to print in multiple materials, including electronically active materials. It allows you to create things on a 3D printer you never would have been able to otherwise. And the Plotnik Fellowship really allowed us to have resources early on to go explore different markets, pull in the right types of people, and get this thing off the ground. Voxelate is based on a technology out of the engineering school at Harvard, um, specifically Professor Jennifer Lewis's technology. The fellowship opens these doors and unlocks these relationships that would be almost impossible to get any other way. I think we have to recognize Len Blavatnik's contributions here to young entrepreneurs by giving back to them and helping them create the next generation of great companies. If you've always harbored a desire to take the risk to see if you can start something that really has the potential to change how the world works, come spend a year with us. The Blavatnik Fellowship provides you with an entire support system of other fellows going through exactly what you're going through. The fellowship has been incredibly supportive and helpful, you know, getting brains back to the point it is now. Without the Blavatnik Fellowship, I wouldn't be able to be doing the types of things I'm doing. If we can bring the business community together with the scientific community and start getting more of these technologies out of the lab, off the shelf, and into companies where they can actually become products and services for people, um, the possibilities are endless.